Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm out here on the Clarion River with uh, my friend and guide Don Cameroni from Brown Trout Addiction. Uh, looks like we got about perfect weather. This trip's been planned out for the last couple months and uh, it's kind of kicking off our 2022 trout tour. So I'm going to turn it over to Don and give you some information about the river. Good morning. So we're looking at flows this morning around 300. Temperatures just above 50. So sun's going to creep out here when this clouds burn off and I'm sure Joan's going to rip into something. We got a strike indicator on the back and we're going to be stripping some streamers this morning. Pretty sure that this next hole around the corner we'll be tuning back in for a nice nice fish for you. Guys. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, let me just give you a quick look of the river. Right, guys we just finished up our float trip here with Don Cameroni from uh, Brown Trout Addiction I gotta tell you man it was an awesome awesome time uh, we didn't catch big numbers of trout but boy the, the ones we did catch were beautiful uh, I want to thank Don Absolutely, taking us along. John. Great, and, great uh, casting skills today I mean it's phenomenal he, he did awesome <laughs> we had a good time man uh, you know booking a trip with Don you know you're not just gonna get to go out and and, and catch some really big fish and there are some really big fish in this uh, in this river here but uh, Don really knows the, the river quite intimately. He's grown up here and uh, it's not just the hey here's the fish, here's the fly. It's a lot of the history behind the area, a lot of the history behind uh, you know the trout in the stream and how they got there and um, all different kind of stuff. So it's, it's more than just you know throwing a line in and, and hoping to catch a big trout but uh, we'll definitely be back up here man. We hope so, so. Thanks again to Don and all our sponsors and uh, We'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, we're back down here on the Clarion with uh, Tom from That's Wild Fly Fishing. Uh, he's going to show us, he has a pretty uh, unique uh, way of uh, approaching these wild fish where he goes ahead and he uh, he swings a nymph uh, on a swing. Pretty pretty cool, kind of a little old school, but uh, I'm going to let him tell you about it. So go ahead and take it away, Tom. Yeah, I just, uh, I like swinging a nymph or a streamer. Um, I've been doing it pretty much as a child. I just figure that... Uh, you get more of a, a reaction and you get more of a natural drift when you when you fish like that. Instead of fishing uh, parallel, you're fishing perpendicular. Um, so you're you're swinging a you're swinging a flyer streamer where the fish doesn't actually have to see the line. So you can also use heavier line um, in case you hook onto those bigger fish because obviously you want bigger line or bigger tippet for bigger fish sure so you were out on the stream this morning can you tell us kind of what they were biting on and stuff like that uh yeah i was uh i did really good on uh copper john i did really good on your regular black or brown stone fly nymph uh your pheasant tail um the stream's really good if you just use your more natural colors cool so let's get at it all right so yeah i uh I didn't bring any socks with me on this trip, so I found these. Uh, I was going to tell you, I actually have an extra pair. I got these, socks in there. These really cool. They're actually That's wool. Funny. What is that? I don't know. I found them at a bike shop. <laughs> Five bucks, man. Oh, you can't beat it. But they got kittens on them, so maybe they'll be good luck. We'll see That's what happens. Funny. That's funny. All right, guys, we're back at it. I gave, uh, gave the old wet fly swing a try, and... I don't know. It's something I'd probably have to get used to and take a little bit more time uh, to perfect. So I'm back out here with a Nindy. Got uh, <clears throat> a couple of stone flies, real small stone flies, and 
see what happens here. Pretty good, huh? All these fish right here, like that, but uh, all of them, even the small ones, put up a, a decent fight. Look at them run towards that rock right there. How about it? Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is a freaking slammer, dude. What did I tell you about Look these runs, dog. dude? Oh my god! <laughs> so let me see this little rainbow trout you caught. <laughs> that ain't oh no. That gosh, ain't no rainbow that thing's trout. That a freaking slob, dude. Look at the orange on them. Beautiful. I fish. told you they get that orangish color. All right, guys, we just wrapped up uh, up here on the Clarion River. Tom Ossoff from uh, That's Wild Fly Fishing. Uh, incredible day, man. Uh, I really got the grand tour of this fishery, and uh, I will definitely be back up again. I want to thank Tom for showing me around, and I had no idea that there were still wild trout like that uh, out in these rivers, so I'll probably be back up here this week. Uh, congratulations on an awesome catch, bro. Thank you. And thanks for taking me around. Thanks yeah. for watching, guys. I Good hope time. you enjoyed the video.